Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Sportscaster Dan Podcast. I am Dan Lavallo, and we have a lot of ground to cover as we take a look at my picks from week two. I was two out of three correct, so that now means I am three and three on the season through two weeks. So where was I right? I predicted that the Giants would defeat the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I had no freaking idea that it would be that kind of a game where the Giants would fall behind 20 to nothing at the half. Think about this for just a moment. For the first time, for the first time in their history, really, modern history anyway, the Giants went six quarters at the start of the season without scoring a point. Now, I say for the first time in their history, for the first time in modern history, if you consider that uh, the NFL really didn't come into its own until the 50s, but the Giants had not gone six quarters without scoring a point since 1934. And I don't know what Brian Dable said at the half, but whatever he said obviously turned the team around because they had quite a second half. Quite a second half by the Giants and then the, the thrilling victory. But remember who they defeated. They beat the Arizona Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals arguably are the worst team in the NFL. The worst team in the NFL. And the Giants managed to struggle against them for a half. And then ultimately won the game by the score of, what, 31-28? But remarkable, just absolutely remarkable to me that the Giants had to struggle. Yet it was quite a comeback. You cannot take that away from the Giants. It was quite a comeback. And that was a must win. As I had said on the previous episode of the Sportscaster Dan podcast, the Picks for Kicks edition, uh, the Giants were in a must-win situation in Game 2 of a 17-game season because they're going to San Francisco on Thursday night and they'll probably be without Saquon Barkley. Who? Uh, what a shame, huh? The, the second to the last play, really, of the Giants being on the field, he gets hurt. Second to the last play, and now who knows how long he's going to be out. So that was obviously a tough break for the Giants. They win the game. I don't know what they're going to do in San Francisco. I'll have a I'll have a program before the game on Thursday. I will have an episode before the game on Thursday with my pick, my picks for kicks. But anyhow, I predicted the Giants would beat Arizona, and the Giants defeated Arizona. So, you know, we're right as far as that's concerned. I'm lucky as far as that's concerned, I guess. And then I had the Cowboys beating the Jets. No surprise there. The Jets, they're a mess. They really are. I mean, that offensive line is, is, is leaky. And the Cowboys exposed the Jets' defense. I believe that the Jets have a tremendous defense, but the Cowboys exposed the Jets' defense in several ways, and they end up posting 30 points, and they beat New York. And the Jets are going to be like this as long as uh, Zach Wilson is the quarterback. I don't know what they're going to do. I think we'll learn more after they play the Patriots on Sunday. That's going to be a big game, by the way. Big game, which leads us to the Patriots. And another game lost that they should have won. They should have won that game. I'll get to Miami in a minute because Miami, as I said on the previous episode, is is a very good team, and I think they proved it. But uh, again, uh, just by inches... The Patriots end up losing. Remember what happened, the out-of-bounds play against Philadelphia. Otherwise, they would have probably beaten the Eagles in the first game of the season. But now here they are. And again, on that fourth down play, they miss by by inches of getting a first down. And they probably would have gone in to score. And then Belichick would have been faced with a decision. Does he go for the win of the two-point conversion or the extra point and the tie? I think he would have gone for the tie and taken his chances in overtime. That's what I think he would have done. But regardless, fact of the matter is, the Patriots are now 0-2, and they lost both those games at home. That's huge. I mean, you lose your first two games of the season, and both of those games are at home. That is major. That is a major, major defeat for the Patriots in so many ways, because now they're 0-2, and they go on the road to face the Jets at MetLife Stadium. They beat the Jets something like, what, 14 in a row? But I haven't, I haven't come up with my prediction yet. On that game, Mac Jones, maybe he's not the answer at quarterback. Very iffy performance by Jones. That offensive line also iffy. And take nothing away from Miami because Miami is a very good team. And they've got quite a defensive line. 
They've got quite a defense. Their offense needs some work. But Miami is a real good team. So I predicted that the Patriots would beat the Dolphins. I was wrong there. I predicted that the Giants would beat the Cardinals. I was correct there. I predicted that the Cowboys would beat the Jets, and I was correct there. So I end up 3-3 three and three through the first two weeks of the season on my picks for kicks. By the way, subscribe to my Sportscaster Dan newsletter. A new edition comes out every Tuesday. And uh, in this upcoming edition, I write about Deion Sanders and... We talk baseball expansion because it's closer than you think. All in the upcoming Sportscaster Dan newsletter comes out Tuesday mornings at 6 Eastern time to subscribe. Just go to sportscasterdan.com. And as always, thanks for listening to the podcast.